Hey guys, I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar. Welcome back for another live lesson tonight. We are wrapping up the month of July, which uh, is super surprising that it's almost over. Uh, the uh, summer is going by really quickly. I don't know about for you guys, it is here. And uh, I've been doing some lessons on Facebook Live uh, for folks that are interested and been focusing on playing licks in the key of G. You need to know a G chord. These are all just open chords. C and D. Those one, four, five chords that kind of make up. I mean, if you can play those, you've got a lot of, a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, feel free to say hello when you're tuning in. Just I'm always curious about who's on, if you don't mind sharing that. So you're going to be playing three chords for these. And again, all of these fills and licks are built around the uh, pentatonic scale. So the cool thing about the pentatonic scale, um, that's the E minor, which is uh, relative to the G, but you don't need to worry about that. The pentatonic scale is perfect for playing these kind of bluegrass and G lick scales. It all fits really well together. So any of the uh, notes that you play from that pentatonic scale are going to feel and sound great. Uh, they're going to kind of feel like they fit under your fingers, which is really cool. So with the G, get really good at this first. So that's a bass down, up down, a bass down, up down, up. And be uh, pretty comfortable moving between that G, C, and D. C. G. D. C. That's kind of the core of it. Now we're going to fit some things in between those chords that we're changing. That's the first one we want to learn. It's going to be a little bit of a workout for your index finger on uh, a pull-off. So hammer-on is when you pluck the string and hammer down onto a onto the string on the fret. We're doing the opposite here and you're going to use your index finger on the third string, second fret. So you're going to pluck that and more of a flicking motion. So you're only playing the string once, but you're getting two tones out of it. And that's going to happen on the uh, third string, second fret, and the fourth string, second fret. And you're going to play the fifth string on the second fret, and the sixth string on the third fret with your middle finger. So it's. So really slow. And that leads into your G chord. cool part about that is when you look at the pentatonic scale, it's all those notes. And the pentatonic scale is great for open strings on the third, fourth, and fifth. All sound great inside this little fill shape. C, play the uh, fifth string for the root of that chord. And you're going to go with the, uh, that's what you're going to learn here. And to get that little fill or lick, you're going to be uh, playing a hammer on. So you're going to pluck the fourth string and you're going to leave that open. So lift up your middle finger while you're playing the C chord and then hammer back down with it onto that second fret of that fourth string. And 
it's actually when I get like three tones out of that first pluck. So pluck the th uh, fourth string open, and we're down with your middle finger onto the second fret, and flick it off, and you get that. All those out of just one pick. And then play that open third string to end up that fill. So you have. And I really like to kind of let it hang a little bit because people don't expect that. So from the top, it's going to sound like this. and you're playing that let that third string open just ring out just a little bit longer than usual it just keeps it a little more interesting there and again all that is all in that pentatonic scale which is the really cool part of that and that's really why I tell beginners to kind of start here when it comes to learning a scale that you're going to build around some chords okay so from the top it's You got that lick down, and you got the got that down. Switch to your C. Back to the G. Then go to your D chord, and here I just kind of play. The rhythm part of that D chord to the C, do that little C lick, back to the G. Lather, rinse, repeat. You can just repeat that little thing uh, phrase over and over. I just want to remind people if you have not signed up on the email list, you should head over to relaxandlearnguitar.com and uh, sign up for free lessons. So uh, Relax and Learn Guitar is the website. That's where I help uh, my members learn how to play their favorite songs so they can enjoy the guitar and play for themselves and for other people too.